This video is made possible by Skillshare. Watch the video to see how you can get two months for free on premium. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. Well, first of all, thank you guys very much for 21,000 subscribers from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On this video, I have something extremely special for you guys. A lot of you guys complained that we had our food app, but we only had the user side, meaning we, we were unable to add, edit and delete products on our database. So this whole time I was building a second app, which is the restaurants owner app that will allow us to add, edit and delete products on our database and see the changes being reflected on the end user application. If you are interested, stay tuned to this video and see you guys inside. Hello guys, as I was saying, this video was made possible by Skillshare. If you are unaware of what Skillshare is, Skillshare is this online learning community where you can have classes on almost every single topic you can imagine, ranging from development, design, videography, photography, and so on. I personally use Skillshare to learn some of the stuff I create tutorials on, I took this Adobe XD course, and this, this is extremely useful when you want to improve your app design skills. Even if you are doing web apps, this is useful still. So guys, waste no more time because the first thousand people to sign up using the link in the description section below are going to get two months for free on premium and then you will be paying less than $10 a month for the yearly subscription. So guys, here is a bit of an overview of how our application looks like on the restaurant side. Obviously, we have the sign in and register options. And uh, now we can attempt to do a login. But first of all, let's start with some uh, wrong credentials and see how the application behaves. It detects that it's wrong. And when you use the correct ones, here we have it. And this is our mini dashboard, how it looks like and the information we will um, be getting from the main dashboard of the restaurant user. And on our drawer, we are going to have these fields, the home, my restaurant orders, products, and logout. We can click on this button to attempt uh, to add a product. We can define if a product is a featured product or not, which is a very uh, interesting feature here. We can add images to our product from the gallery, or we can take a photo. Uh, let's attempt to add uh, an image from our camera and again you can see here I'm taking a photo of my computer or the things I'm coding we can take a photo of that click on OK to continue and there we have the image selected which is quite interesting as well and um, we can take another picture if you want, just click on change picture and take a second one. And if you have a look on our app, the image is going to be changed, which is impressive, a very good feature. When we click on orders, we can have um, a bit of information on the orders that were done. When we click on products, we can have the list of all of products belonging to this particular restaurant, right? On the user side of the app, we did this change where when we don't have the restaurant image uh, set, we will basically have this icon with the table and uh, simulating a restaurant, right? What we can do here is try to add some, some uh, products to the cart, the user cart, and then we will see how the changes are going to be reflected on our restaurant side of the application. So we are going to check out now, do a basic user checkout on the user side of the application. 
and um, we can go on my orders on the user side of the application to see that we actually did perform the order and we have here that the order the order is complete on our database which is awesome now we go back to our restaurant side of the app and if you see now on the orders we have two basically meaning that we we the order came through and the change was reflected on the restaurant side of the application and i don't know if you guys are able to see but the number on our total sales change as well let's try to add a new product from our gallery let me just select a good picture sorry for my images here since i'm using my real device but nevertheless uh, let's select this pizza image and now we want it to be featured in italian we'll just put pizza as the name right add some description and um, a price and the price is set on using cents so 500 cents meaning five dollars add product it may take a while to process good uh, the processing was completed and now if we see on our products now we have two products which is the american burger and the pizza right and again then again these changes are going to be reflected on the user side of the application even if we click on products we can have the total amount of uh, the total number of products we have thank you